Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is JP, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today is Thursday, August the 25th. Happy Thursday. It is 7.46 in the morning, y'all. We tired, but we pushing through. We're on our way to work. It is our last day in the office. If you're new here, I am a hybrid worker. That means that part of the week I'm in the office and part of the week I'm at home. And unfortunately, I spend more time <laughs> in the office than I do at home, but it is what it is. Cause guess what? We are very grateful and thankful to have a job. So I ain't gonna complain. I'm just letting you know if you new here, okay? That's just <laughs> what my life consists of. Um, I did pack my lunch for today. Y'all would be so proud of me. I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to this intermittent fasting thing. Yesterday I ate before seven o'clock. Did I wake up this morning starving? Yes. Do I want to eat breakfast? Absolutely. Am I though? No. We're gonna stick to this. Eating at 12 noon and stopping at 7 p.m. So I did bring a little salad. One of the salads that you saw in yesterday's grocery haul. So if you have not seen the previous vlog, go ahead over and do so once you finish watching this video. Of course. Why would you stop this one? You already stopped it. Anywho, so I went ahead and just packed half of the Sam salad that I bought yesterday um, at Sam's. And while we're talking about Sam's, let me just give like a quick little warning on Sam's. I did not film this part uh, yesterday, but I do think that is what worth mentioning so yesterday your girl almost got got i almost just swooped straight up off my feet with a whole lot of swindelization okay so we were walking through sam's actually actually we had just walked through the door at, at sam's shop and this nice little lovely lady stopped me and my husband hey guys who do you have uh, as your energy provider you know the people you know the people so you know we tell her who we have as our energy provider yada 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 and she was like, <clears throat> excuse me, would you like to save on your energy bill? And then she whips out this iPad and she starts pulling up all these bills. Now, mind you, them people usually move fast, child, because either they line or they on a time crunch or maybe both because they're trying to get as many people as they can to come through their little kiosk or whatever. Right, right. Okay. So she pulls up this ipad with bills and showing you know what the bill was and then the drastic decrease and i was like i would i would like to save money on my light bill shay marie and the family blogs was talking about this a couple weeks ago her light bill was 400 dollars, and actually that didn't even spook me that's the sad part about it because my bill has been over 400 dollars my bill is hasn't been four hundred dollars in quite some time. I usually range anywhere between two twenty and two seventy, two eighty, um, especially in the summer months. And then in the cooler months, I'm usually somewhere between one fifty and two twenty. That's my range. But if you ask me if I want a cheaper, hell yeah, I want a cheaper. If I can get it for fifty dollars, I want it for fifty dollars. That's just everybody. Everybody will want a cheaper bill, right? Right, okay. So, you know, she's flipping through and everything that she's saying is sounding really good. My husband, per usual, has his headphones in, listening to something on his phone. So he's not really engaging with her, I am. And at the current moment, at that moment, sis was really working me, right? So I do as most wives do. I say most because everybody ain't me, okay? Everybody ain't us. If you do this, everybody ain't us. Sis. Everybody ain't built like us. So I, you know, tap my husband on the shoulder and I'm like, hey, you know, this is the company that she works for. And I'm looking, you know, looking at the kiosk, looking at the information. She never hands a brochure out, uh, but I just see the name of the electricity company on her little, you know, table cover of my box. Okay. So I, you know, implore him for his, you know, advice and, you know, direction to see if we can get on one accord about this change possible change so you know he she's engaging him and he's looking and one of the questions that he keeps asking is okay well 
you know that's their bill i get it but is there any information that you can share with me on how much i can save how do you guys determine how much one can save and she kind of danced around the question oh um well everything is you know contingent upon each particular situation da -da -da -da, you know the specifics who you have you know how, how many cents per kilowatt most people don't know that i know that <laughs> i know i know how much you pay per kilowatt but most people don't know that so you have so anyway i'll get to that point so you know we tell her and you know again i feel like at that point my antenna start raising up because the explanation that she's given really isn't a good one it really isn't one of of informing me of how the company works and how the company determines you know what what the determining factors are for this quote unquote major discount um that we would receive by switching to them versus keeping who we have not to mention she kept mentioning a sam's membership discount that da, 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 right right okay so she works my husband to the point to where he's he gets like me he's like okay well you know she said we can save the money i still got a couple questions but go ahead and do it right okay so by then she has already taken my name and already taken my address and my telephone that, that's the only information that I've given her and we needed to do that up front before I, I got my husband involved uh, because she needed to make sure they service our area so as she's talking to my husband I get online you know and visit my good sis Google and I look at the banner because that's all that I have to go off of the, the name of the company on the banner and I Google them child first of all 1.8 rating okay out of a five star they got 1.8 okay red flag number one we go to the reviews nearly all of them are one star reviews and i'm quite sure if the people could have got away with leaving no stars but still leaving a comment <laughs> they would have did it we saw reviews like run we uh saw a review that described our situation exactly a woman approaches uh him this guy that wrote the review and his wife uh letting them know that they can save on their bill but not you know adequately explaining how and come to find out they signed up and it was a big scam customer service is bad um they make promises that they don't keep i mean it was just a whole lot a whole lot and i thank god that while she was talking to my husband I had the mind to step back and really get some information on this company because she was really, I mean, she was selling, you know, she was doing what she was supposed to do and um, she almost had us, but I was like, you know what? No, no, thank you. You know, we'll walk around the store and come back, you know, if we decide to use your service, yada, yada, yada. So we walk away and Brother Prophet is like, why, you know, you were on board, like what changed? I was like, look at this. We ducked off in one of them aisles, baby, and he got to reading them doggone reviews. And when I tell you, he was like, thank God, and thank God for you. We was about to get God. So all of that, all of that story to say everything at Sam's and at Costco, because I'm a former Costco member. We just Team Sam. <laughs> He's Team Sam's Club, okay? Um, everything that glitters, at these places especially those vendors that come in everything that glitters ain't gold y'all do your research be mindful don't be swindled by the you know sales pitch of the person that's standing before you it's okay to take some time to do some research even if it's just for a second because they'll get you in a heartbeat our lunch break and I have my no child this ain't my lunch 
I'm talking about we have our lunch here. Child, we got our lunch here, but this ain't our lunch here. Since I pulled it out, I might as well show y'all. It's just my return for the dollar store. It's the Airwicks that I picked up by accident. I picked up two packs. Um, so I have them in my car because I'm going to return them when I get off today. But my lunch <laughs> is right here. I just packed a little salad like I told y'all earlier. Nothing special or spectacular. Sorry about the noise. Okay. I just grabbed the uh, entire kit that the salad comes with. I'm certainly not going to use all of this, but for time saving purposes, I just grabbed the whole thing. And then I put, yes, I'm still rocking my tail feezy. This is the second work day that I have had it. Still freaking loving it. Um, I think they just released, what was the release for today? Mm, I think it was like a forest green or something like that. Eh, I don't I don't wear that color. So not interested in that. I am keeping my eye out for the white one um and maybe a gray one i think I, I want a white and small and maybe a gray mm, that sounds good a gray and medium but anywho here is my salad child now i really packed this salad with a lot of meat and the meat that is on top is turkey meat um, and then I also put my cheese. I did season it a little bit, but here is my little compact salad, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to, we try to get it together or whatever. Hey fam and happy Friday. Day. It is August the 26th. It is currently 227 in the afternoon, child, and it has been a super, super productive day. Zeze, you gonna say hey to the family? Hey. He feeling brand new, y'all. He's a new person, and quite honestly, I don't even recognize him. Why? Why you ask? Well, since y'all family, I'm gonna go tell y'all. My little bae is a college student or whatever. He's starting college. Yes, sir. He a little college bay. So we went this morning um, to get him all registered and found out that his college life was going to start a little bit sooner than we expected. He starts his um, college classes on Monday, child. Monday. Monday at his first class is at 11 o'clock. I was going to film and told y'all that I was going to take y'all with me, but as we got there and started walking around, I mean, signage was everywhere. Um, school spirit was real. And for security purposes and privacy purposes, I decided not to pick up the camera. But just know my little bae is fully enrolled for the fall and starts on Monday. <laughs> we are really, really excited. And um, while we were there registering him, we were talking to one of the reps, um, getting some assistance, you know, for him while he was, you know, doing all of his little computer thing and whatnot signed up for school and i look and notice the familiar face child why is my cousin my cousin is one of the counselors at the school and she was like oh yeah i'm definitely gonna make sure my little cousin good i'm gonna make sure he have what he need da, 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 da. so thank god for that not only is he going to get support at home he's also going to have support from family from extended family at the school as well so i'm super super excited for that um <gasps> Y'all, they don't have the ones I'm looking for. All they have is this color. I don't see black anymore. Dang it. I see purple. Oh, dang it. They sold out. These are the purple ones that they have. Dang it. And they have green too. Let's see if I can show y'all these green ones. Let me put y'all down. There we go. So they have 
the green ones, even though on camera it's coming across blue, it's green in person. But dang, they don't have the black ones. Ugh. So disappointing. I would have even settled for the white ones too, but they don't have them. What to do, what to do. I could get a pack of the three in gray because the color in my room is gray, black, and white. So I could get away away with these, but they still don't have enough. This is literally the last one that they have. <sighs> dang, 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 dang. Okay, so we're gonna go with these. Here is some of the decor at Big Lots for the fall. This pumpkin is really, really cute for $12. I did end up finding some some fall scented candles. So this is butter rum cider. And these are seven dollars. Definitely want this. Can you grab that for me to say? This one is blackberry thyme. Mm. Mm, I'm sorry. It's okay. And the last one that I see is Spice Coconut Pumpkin. Sucks they only have three. Hey y'all, so we finally made it home. I have the stuff here that I bought from Big Lots. Child, today has been a super, super chill day and I'm honestly not mad at it. I've been sitting here editing the vlog. Uh, by the time you see this video, the video that I'm currently editing will already be up. I just kind of want to show you guys just to reiterate what we got from Big Lots. I did pick up these three storage. I need to Google where another Big Lots is so that I can get more storage. Cause child, this is, these going up underneath my cabinet. I still need to get some for, um, I wanna do some for my guest bathroom, bay side of the uh, bathroom, and then Isaiah side of the bathroom. We did also pick up two of the three candles, although in the store, I could have sworn that I picked up all three of the candles that they had, but this is butter rum cider. It smells so good. Yes, Lord, I should have burned this one first. It kind of gives me those hard candy vibes, the old schools uh, eat. Never mind, don't worry about it. But this smells really, really good. Them butter rum candies, y'all don't know what I'm talking about? No? Yes? Leave it in the comment section down below. But this smells really, really good. And then I'm currently burning um, the second candle that I bought. I just had it sitting on my dining table and this is the Spice Coconut Pumpkin and I can really, really smell this one. Not to mention, these are super, super cute. I love the packaging on this. I don't think that I've ever had a uh, candle from this brand, Scented Candles. They were really affordable, only $7. I wish I could have could have gotten more candle for the $7 because y'all already know how Michaels get down, but it's, it's still a good value in my personal opinion. And y'all know that I'm thirsty for the fall vibes. And this is definitely giving me fall vibes. So let me put it back on the table. As I was checking out a Big Lodge Chow, I noticed that they carry the new Coca-Cola. I don't know if y'all know Chow, been living under a rock. But Coca-Cola has a new Coke flavor. This is called Dream World Limited Edition. I'll put it up just in the event you guys have not seen it. This is what the packaging looks like. I was really excited to try this, but I'm really not a fan of the aftertaste. Like me, my husband, and Isaiah tried it and mm, It's okay. I'm picking up a, a fruit flavor. I don't know if it's like orange mango it's one of those either like orange or mango undertone i don't i don't really know how i like it um it's a no for for right now and then the last thing that we picked up nope second to last thing what else did i get um i thought i had it. oh i picked up this purell 
This is a lavender scented Purell. Honestly, I needed it right then and there in the moment. I have 511 um, hand sanitizer child and didn't have not a one in my bag or in my car. So I just picked this up to throw in my car. Will this probably leave my car and get lost and put back here in the house when I need it most outside in the streets? Absolutely. It's just like a dollar and some change. So I picked it up. You can never have too many. I don't know what it smells like though. So let me smell it. Mm. child straight like alcohol not a lick of lavender not a none it's okay we picked that up too and then the last thing that i picked up was this twin comforter set i am gifting this to someone but i thought this was a really good buy it's a six piece complete bed in a bag set again this is twin i thought that the um the color scheme was really cute yellows grays white with a hint of like dark gray it comes with one reversible comforter one pillow sham a three-piece um sheet set and one decorative pillow again really really cute this was $30 at uh, Big Lots. I've never purchased a um, a bed in a bag at Big Lots. Y'all know I love me some bed in, bags, bed in a bag. I recently just bought one for my own self from Macy's, uh, but the quality is really good and they had a really nice selection. So if you're in the market for a bed in the bag and they had all sizes from twin to king size, be sure to check out Big Lots big lots for the value. The workout is done. As you guys saw, I did 25 minutes, mostly running, a little bit of walking, trying to do more running than walking these days. Um, who? sorry, let me catch my breath. That workout was crazy. She's sweating from head to toe. I'm about to go refresh myself, relax. It's not quite sundown just yet. So I'm gonna gather myself, take a shower, and I will see you guys later. We had an amazing workout. I've showered and I am ready to hit the bed. But before I do, I wanted to close out this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed this short vlog. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you have stuck with me for this long and you have not hit that subscribe button, what are you doing? Consider becoming a part of the fam by hitting the subscribe button and the post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.